above the New York superstar strikers. A little bit earlier in the piece, John Kent was downstairs with the two captains. And it was the Delhi Devils that won the toss and they decided to bat first. Well, that's exactly what happened uh, in the previous game. The captain that won the toss decided to have a bat first. Alongside me is John Kent. John, two good teams. The Kings are power packed. Their captain at the top has been in wonderful form. Mazakatsu as well. They've got a, a well balanced side. For the Devils, they're searching for runs, they're searching for wickets. They need to get something going here very, very quickly. Well, the pitch looks a dry one. It looks as though it's going to favor the spinners, but it hasn't really. The batters have still enjoyed their time here in Palakele. We saw a wonderful half century by Sean Marsh a little bit earlier for the Dubai Giants. And I think this evening Robin Utapa will look to continue his fine form on this good batting surface. So the man alongside me has been a very, very busy man, John Kent. And a little bit earlier, he caught up with the captain of the Devils, Suresh Reiner. Suresh, it's been a tough campaign so far for the Devils. Any areas you'd really like to focus on? I think we need to just uh, play really well. We have to just have a good intent because everyone knows we are playing with the 90 balls. I think we put very good effort yesterday, but couldn't score much. I think they batted really well yesterday. So probably so one more game for us. If we win today, then we have two more games to go. Our balls are looking very good. Now we have two more players, Sangwan and Monu Singh, came to the square. So probably would we'll, we'll love to uh, score more runs and let's see what's happened later. And uh, regarding the toss, pretty pleased with that. Uh, and the wicket, what are your thoughts on the wicket? Absolutely, I think wickets are getting uh, slower. Every ball is looking to change the pace and they've been executing a lot of slow ball. So probably I think 150 is pass score. So look to score as many we can. Let's see uh, later on we can defend that total. All the best tonight. Thank you so much. Thanks. Really are blessed to have a player of that quality um, playing in this tournament. Another player who has shown his quality is Robin Utapa, and John Kent caught up with him as well. So Robin, at the moment you are well placed on four points in the middle of the table, but now you realise now how just that one win will really catapult you right into contention for that final. Well, yeah, as in it's, uh, we've, we've been taking one game at a time. Honestly, I don't think um, anyone from our squad has even looked at the points table so far. <laughs> um, and uh, I think it's going pretty well. Uh, and I think it's working for us, uh, you know, one game at a time. And regarding the toss now, uh, what were your thoughts on the pitch and the way it's going to pan out tonight? Well, I'm hoping it's going to be a slightly better wicket than the one we played the other day. But uh, I'm, I'd prefer batting second on this because I feel like the dew comes on a little bit. So it makes it slightly easier to bat on the second inning. So um, I'm, I'm quite happy with, with uh, chasing down a score. And obviously rotation of players is important in these competitions. Today, how many players have you changed? Uh, Munaf is taking a well-deserved break. <laughs> uh, so, and Avana comes back in. Uh, and we got uh, uh, Bipul Sharma uh, coming in for Robin Dush. All the best tonight again. Thank you. Thanks. A new format is underway here at the Legends Cricket Trophy. Just 90 balls, so that's 15 overs per innings. There is a bowling power play, which is the first four overs. The first 24 balls with those fielding restrictions of two outside the 30-yard circle are allowed. There is also one bowler that is permitted to bowl four overs. The rest can bowl a maximum of three. And then the interesting one is the batting power play. That happens after 60 balls or 10 overs. And they can take it at any stage after that, the batting unit. And there, there is a fielding restriction of three players allowed outside the 30-yard circle. So lovely little innovations for this Legends Cricket Trophy. This 90 ball in innings. A little bit earlier, the Dubai Giants saw themselves go to six points after beating the Punjab Royal. The Royal won the toss and they decided to bat first on what they thought would also be a slow wicket. Their score indicated that it was slightly slow. 136 for five. Cameron White played brilliantly unbeaten on 43 of his 26. The Dubai Giants, they made short work of it courtesy of a Sean Marsh masterclass, unbeaten on 79 of just 41 deliveries. The Giants won by seven wickets. So umpires, Chandrika Amarasinghe, 
Deepal Gunawadana make their way out to the middle. Our TV umpire is Hemantha Votaju. And our match referee is the same man who did the first game, a Sri Lankan, former Sri Lankan international, Ahsoka De Silva. John, the Devils have struggled. You pointed that out to the captain, Suresh Rana, when you had a chat with him. How do you see them overcoming their poor form? I think the power play, the first one, the first four overs, you'd say, would be hugely important. You've got Van Veik, who's been utilized at the top of the order. A couple of changes as well. Motor Singh into the side. Callum Ferguson's had some time. Rain has been excellent form. And the wicketkeeper, Brendan Taylor. So they have the players to do it. I just wonder how deep they bat. That could be a bit of a worry for them. That means that the men at the top have to take that responsibility and take it a little bit deeper and really try to get a score they can defend later. They have to win here today. Well, Rana certainly looked as though he had never left the cricket field with his innings in the previous game. And Callum Ferguson has shown some form, but I think you're right. It's here at the top with Van Veik that they need to uh, they need to utilise these first these first four overs, these first 24 balls. They're going to have to look after what is a very decent bowling side as well. Manpreet Goni for the Rajasthan Kings has been exceptional with his medium fasts. And they've got Ashley Nurse with his off spinners, Peter Trago with his seamers, Shadab Jakati and Jatin Saxena. They really are a very well balanced unit. Ashan Priyanjan is the man who will be joining Mornay van Veik. So his strike rate is impressive, yep, but it's up. his best, 25. For some, that might be acceptable. For Mornay van Veik, he knows that he needs to contribute a lot more than that. Grand Jan, pace of 20 not out as well. So four matches, 36 runs. Strike rate impressive again, but you've got to go on here and make a score of substance. Quick 20 is not going to quite cut it. You need something 50 plus up front. I'm one of the top three have to get right involved in the action. Bipal Sharma, economy just over six to the over. Really great economy rate as a T20 bowler. That's impressive. Left arm orthodox. He's got a slip as well positioned. Three in the ring on the offside. The two men out on the boundary, long off and deep mid wicket. Lots of spin options for the Rajasthan Kings. We've got Bipul Sharma, Shadab Jakati with his left arm spin, Jatin Saxena, Ashley Nurse. So there is a lot. Chaturanga de Silva, they've got lots of spin available to them. But here we go, we're underway. The Rajasthan Kings are underway. The Devils aren't. Last game. A skipper only utilized one seamer, Goni, and the rest was spin. So we're seeing it pretty clearly what he's what he's gonna angle for here. Von Veik on the sweep. It is his shot. He plays it very well. And that's a nice start for the South African right hander. Brilliant. Maximum to kick things off. Got inside on the line of the ball. Got his pad outside off stump and helped it over that leg side area. Square leg and short fine leg up in the ring. So no one back there just had the legs to go all the way now there is a man a deep square leg he's been moved from mid wicket to square leg ah! Ah! appeal and given and given van veik looks disappointed he looks very disappointed but it doesn't matter he's been a judged lbw and he's got to go Well, that finger came up really quickly. Mornay van Veik is looking a bit perplexed with that. Did he get outside the line? Yes, he did. A long way outside the line, and the finger has come up quickly. That is very, very unlucky. Mornay van Veik given out LBW for six. They've lost their first one, the Devils. It's six for one. That's two in a row for Mornay van Veik, I think, LBW decisions. That was clearly outside the line of the off stump. No opportunity for these legends to go upstairs. Do you prefer to be square or They have to just put a smile on their face, turn on a dime, and walk off the ground. Suresh Reiner, 
the captain. Another look well outside the line. That is what you can say. Good appeal, though. And I was confident it was uh, not outside the line. So, first one down. Devils, worst possible thing to happen for them, losing a hit in the first over. For Reiner, there's a long on and a deep mid wicket. Those are the two boundary riders for the Devils captain. Never easy for a spinner to bowl inside the power play. Oh, 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 oh. It's a big shot from Robin Utapa, but then aborted. And I've never quite understood that because it was so confident for the first second. Lovely delivery. Sliding across. Oh, good take, and he went up and. Then it stopped. Good shot. Over. And that is the end of over. the first over. Six for one. Then the bowlers. Gee, they are very top heavy, this Delhi Devil side. Well, the responsibility lies with the men up front. So, Goni, he's been ever present with a new ball in this tournament. He's been steady, he's used that new ball well. He got Chris Gale out not too long ago with a new ball a couple nights ago. Can he strike here as well, early on? Oh, that just drifted into the right-hander. Yeah, he's been good. You know, I suppose we, we're trying to work out all along what are good statistics for the 90-ball game because it's a, a new format. So we see that he's economy rate is at over eight I would think that that's very good I would think anything under nine is good Missfield go to the boundary another day we saw a three <laughs> the only three of the tournament was something along those lines where a shot was played, a half a hand on it, and it trickled near the boundary rope. This time, you'll be disappointed. He didn't do better. Chaturanga de Silva straight through the two hands. Some players reaching down to the floors a lot longer than others. Yeah, I would have thought the only way a three would be achieved if, if there was an overthrow. There's a shot. Priyanjan is underway. He is short in stature, very slut. This is a really good stroke. Backs away again. Ball just giving him a bit of width, just outside the off stump. But he frees the hands up, an interesting grip as well on that bat. That's what he needs, just to clear the infield in this opening power play, the first 24 balls, this is when they need to pick up boundaries, and that's the spirit. Yeah, you're right about the, the way he holds the bat. It's very similar to Faf Du Plessis, the next South African international, who holds his, he holds his hands far apart. There are a number of batters that are now, that are now doing it. The bottom hand near the, the base of the handle and the top hand near the top. Oh yes, I like it, I like it. They nought from three, they've got nothing to lose. There we go, that bottom hand, low on that bat handle, did work overtime. 
this man is under some early pressure now back to back boundaries he's backed away before this and now he's gone outside the off stump and fetched it with that bottom hand very very good work he's moving himself around the crease very cleverly and picking his spot oh is that carried it has it's carried what was so promising has been ended by a good catch from Saxena at square leg oh the devils the devils they've lost another looked so bright the sabre was looking so good for them Saxena diving forward judged it well that's a, one of the biggest oh yeah that's a big celebration Coney the big man he didn't like getting hit for a couple of boundaries but he's had the final word Brown jump he's gone for 10 breezy not 10 off five devil 16 for two yeah that celebration that you saw Goni given is uh, it's a traditional sort of thing that happens in India when they play that I don't know if you've seen the game Kabaddi now Callum Ferguson from South Australia not playing any cricket at all anymore he's now behind the microphone in the commentary box doing lots of work on cricket in Australia both internationals and domestically he's played well yeah good strike rate that 57 not out was a good innings solid 12 balls gone 16 for two so an ideal situation two players on naught partnership yet to begin some big pressure on this pair now to resurrect things and get themselves a score that is respectable actually nurse saw him coming his flick this that's all the way what a shot what a white ball player this man has been over the years Sir Shriner the first time we've seen him play this shot it won't be the last time he scores both sides of the wicket so effectively no, 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 no. I do think he prefers the offside though his control of the bat face when trying to find the gaps in that offside field is something that has always really impressed me with you looking to mainly hit offside his favored region that's why that nurse's first delivery wasn't the worst I thought he's trying to give himself room he followed him and that was a really great shot yeah, and that, that's a good outcome there for nurse he's got himself two dots and then just when you think well okay that is going to line him up he gets him off strike so now he gets to bowl to a new batter so he could arguably be saying to his skipper let's try and get ourselves another dot here so even though that that first ball went for six we can recover this over So he's got himself two dots so the first delivery goes for six the over only goes for seven after 18 balls it's 23 for two
can see how important this match is to both these teams. Rajasthan in touching distance of the two leaders and uh, Delhi Devils played three, lost three. Suresh Raina with a job on his hands here. There we are on the far right, Chitrangada, Chitrangada Singh. And uh, right, Suresh Raina to the business of cricket and oopsie, misfield. But they don't look at that. They don't look for the second. Thank you, Angie. Just had the pleasure of uh, welcoming uh, Chitranga the Singh to the uh, presentation party for the first match. And uh, she was delighted to meet uh, Sean Marsh, who played a wonderful innings, outstanding innings in that first match, a win for the Dubai Giants, which has seen them go up in the right direction in the table. Oh. Awana's line is not right. That's too much down the leg side, and it's punished. Well, the Devils are 28 for two of 20 balls. They haven't shown the kind of start they would require for a team that is desperate games, three out of three they need to win this to keep their hopes alive but they come off to a rather poor start so they need something big here they need something really big oh that's beautifully struck by Callum Ferguson the Australian who showed uh, very good form at the start of this tournament. That is just uh, impeccably timed. Yeah, a few of those would help for sure. Nine runs so far. 21 balls, 32 for two. Callum Ferguson, eight. Reina, eight. But they haven't really looked to be moving smoothly. <coughs> Reina have struggled still, but Ferguson, on the other hand, back-to-back -back boundaries the run. Well, their power play scores the Delhi Devils in the first three matches 35 for one in the first 31 for two in their second match and uh, they improved to 40 for one in the third now here they're 32 for two so you lose two early wickets <laughs> you're you've got two things on your mind one to consolidate and two to keep the scoreboard ticking over and also clearly indicates why they're they haven't won a game as yet because they haven't really set the tone the openers they've been inconsistent the top order has been struggling right on Not now. the likes of callum ferguson who is a quick scorer We'll have to adopt a different approach here because Delhi's batting has looked brittle. So they need a kind of a solid base to try and build on. So at the moment, almost the last, not almost, it's the last ball of the power play. They barely got over 30. Well balls. It's a good over. That's the power play done, 32 for two. Delhi Devils are 32 for two here, and it looks as if uh, it might be the English all-rounder Peter Trego who's going to bowl. Medium pace, Peter Trego from the uh, the southwestern county of Somerset, for whom great Vivian Richards, Joel Garner, Ian Botham, in years gone by, have uh, performed. 
Unfortunately, against his name in this tournament, he um, he delivered the ball for the over, which is the most expensive of the tournament. 28 came from it. Oh, Suresh Reiner. Oh, oh that ball has flown to that man at deep point. Certainly deserved a boundary, but unfortunately played straight to the fielder. Suresh Reiner just playing himself in a little bit. Nine of nine. Focus on eight of eight. The, the current uh, scoring rate under eight. Yeah, but it was. It's critical that they don't lose another wicket at this stage. Oh. Yeah, just well tied. They should look for two. Oh, I'm afraid they should have looked for a second there, but the outfield is quick. You know, it's getting down to those uh, square positions very quickly indeed so the the second run is hard to come by in any case i don't think these players are quite fond of running twos and threes they're happy to get a single but will depend a lot on fours and sixes bold he's straight from trego you could see that um, Suresh Ryaner was beginning to look to improvise, get into a different position in the crease. Classical player, Suresh Ryaner. Over the years, he's been a trademark over extra cover. Offside has been his shot. Superb player. Now you need that man a little squarer there, perhaps. <coughs> Especially to Callum Ferguson, because the ex there's no pace on this from Trego, so it's going to go a bit squarer down to that backward point area. Spoke about Reiner. I mean, what a white ball record he has as a player. On his day, he was a match winner. He's played so many years of IPL cricket for India, and he's delivered on many times. That's a slap. <laughs> it's a worthy slap because it's four runs that's a welcome boundary pace off trego suresh reiner saw it he was waiting on the back foot he was looking to take pace off for sure and look he was in a very good position suresh reiner because he was setting himself up on the back foot and what trego did was slower and shorter loved him to hit it with that horizontal bat straight over the bowler's head The one this time. 30 balls gone, five overs, 41 for two. Devils winning the toss. Suresh Ryan has said we'll have a bat first in this contest. That uh, they really have got to find some points, the winning points, because they've uh, they haven't won yet in this tournament. In Rajasthan, they're just nudging the leaders. So Suresh Ryan and Robin Utapa, the captain of the Rajasthan Kings. Now this is Ashley Nurse, off spinner, who is a genuine spinner of the ball. Well, we saw the, the ball deviate in the last match he played. Got the ball past the bat of uh, Chris Gale. In fact, he bowled two or three that went past Chris Gale's outer edge. Jackie. He generally tends to bowl a little bit quicker 
gets close to the stumps, fires the ball in, not the type of bowler who would look to flight it or loop it. He understands that in the modern game, batters are waiting. The slightest chance, they're waiting to come down the pitch, go over the top. Pull this one down, though, that's a poor delivery. Ashley Nurse punished. Yeah, that was shortened down the leg side. He's obviously looking to push it through, but his line was bad. It was dragged down, and just look at that outside the leg stump. Short fine leg in the circle. So you get it slightly wide, that's four. As you said, he, he knows that. That reaction tells you. Yesterday, the afternoon score was in the mid 130s, and the uh, evening score, the first innings, was 153. All seemed to come on to the bat a little easier in the in the evening session. Right, that's chipped more than anything else, but it's a chip. I think it's flush onto those boundary cushions. This could be six. I think I saw the fielder signalling a six. We'll have to wait and see. Yeah, buyers would want to take a look, but this is a very good shot. Fired in, and what Suresh Raina did was held the shape and just hit it straight over the bowler's head. Just a punch. Oh, and it appears to have hit that, hit the boundary, is those uh, cushions on the full. Yeah, it looks like on the full, so that was six. Only just, but still a six, I think. Now the fielder has sig signaled six. I mean, really, <laughs> the fielder was so close to it. Yeah, that's flush into those cushions. That's right. It'll be six runs. Fifty up with that six to the uh, Delhi Devils. Round the wicket now, Ashley Nurse to Suresh Raina. Oh, he could easily have chopped that on. Kept a little low. You think there was an in there was an edge? And certainly seemed to have chopped or, or had a chance of chopping it on. But let's see, was there anything? Oh, I'm not sure. And that single will keep at the striker's end, Suresh Ryder. 54 for two. Devils winning the toss, Suresh Ryan batting first in this contest. Remainder, uh, a reminder that it's uh, 90 ball per innings, 15 overs. It's not T20 cricket. Bowlers can bowl three overs a piece maximum, and one bowler can bowl four. And the captain has to nominate that bowler by the 10th over. So it gives the uh, captain options. And I think it's good to uh, to act as an incentive for any bowler to uh, to put his hand up to bowl the, the extra over. Now, Pavinda Awana, medium pace, as we start the seventh over. Hmm? Awana took four for 13 against the Candy Samp Army. Now he's gloved this. Reiner has gloved this, so that'll count as four runs. One bounce, he dug it in. One bounce, Havana had plenty of time. I beg your pardon, Reiner had plenty of time. This is Havana. 
Yeah, he just dug it in. Yeah, it was off the glove. Clearly off the glove, but why did the keeper? Robin Uttapa just couldn't get there. Well, the dive was on, but I'm not sure that any one of these guys would want to throw themselves. Now that was way out of Robin Uttapa's uh, catching of capabilities. He's a fine keeper, but uh, that had gone. No, I'm in the Awana with the best figures of the tournament, 4 for 13 against Candy Samp Army. He bowled a bit straighter and fuller than that. Oh, right on! <coughs> oh, he'll be disappointed. Reiner will be disappointed because there is nobody behind point. There is a man at cover. But there is a fairly big gap between third and that car fielder. Now, had, had he got past Nurse at backward point, that was four. See, that's what I'm talking about. It's a l wide, large gap. And this outfield is fast. You were talking about it, Wilco. So get it into the gap. It's four. Straight to the man at point. Hit like a bullet. Now, Reiner looks in good touch here. See, but they do need to move on a little bit quicker now. They're into the, the face 39 deliveries and made 59 balls. Just nine. So it's 9.08 is, is the uh, run rate. 43 of 28 is the partnership. That's well bowled. There's not a lot you can do with that. That's a homing in on those stumps from Oana. See, generally we've seen bowlers when they look to go straight. They bowl more dots and they've curtailed the batters, but with width, always. There's been lots of runs. So Awana, that last delivery was very straight to Ferguson, who just couldn't do much with it. So that would be the line he will try to bowl. He's just conceded five of the first four. Yeah, it's well bowled. Awana just concentrating on bowling it as straight as he can here. Callum Ferguson, watchful. He knows that uh, having been two down, there were 16 for two Delhi Devils. Six for one, 16 for two. When Priyanjan got out and uh, Morni van Veik was the first, a judge dealt with W. It wasn't a very good decision. Ah! Slower ball, but Reiner is equal to the task and he plays this with some improvisation for four. Just can't understand Awana's tactics. He has mid off inside the circle and gives away a slow delivery back of the hand and it was a gift and Suresh Raina made the most of it 10 of that over 42 balls 64 for 2 been a sensational partnership between these two Reina Ferguson the Australian got himself in with three boundaries Ryan up three fours two sixes and striking it beautifully the last over going for ten runs the Devils fighting hard here yeah, this is the partnership they really have needed all tournament and it hasn't happened and they are starting to put it together and those owners will be very pleased with their progress so far a couple of changes out in the middle Taranga, what a delivery, flying past the outside edge, bounce and turn. That, that's buys, but that was a, a gem of a delivery, perfect left arm was delivery. Look at the angle, 
drift pitch he did everything right but not hit the stumps almost everything they would have topped it off the top of off was very very close we just done kings family owners following their team well bowled well bowled this is a really good start here from De Silva so Chaturanga De Silva is creating that angle by going round the wicket he's played uh, his economy has been very good under seven Ooh, yeah. he tried to get his hands in the way but get them out the way you're gonna break your hands if you try and stop that Rainer's on the charge So Rainer says, I've had enough of this, I'm going to come down, take you on. Well, okay, there you go, down the track. That was hit very powerfully. I think De Silva did very well to get his hands out of it. I would, that's for sure. Left arm over now, the wicket changing the angle, and he's got three fielders behind point in the ring. Down the wicket again, and he's missed it. He's missed the stumping. What a moment in this game. How costly can this be? Uttapa. Just a little bit slower through the air. Ryan had to reach for it. And this time, he goes uh, into the gap between cover and long off for a boundary. He is going to utilize this laugh line he's been given. Previous ball misstumped, really good bowling. Previous ball this time, he's not going to hang around. Use of the feet again, so it didn't perturb him running down and missing the previous one. He thought, I'm going to try this again. And this time, success. Straight. He's loving hitting it straight now, finding his stride. He maintains the strike. A good over for them. 10 off at 70, 4 for 2. So, wonderful work from this man in picture, the captain, leading from the front. And this is the time of the innings, where there's a strategic timeout. Partnerships here so far. Nothing to speak of up front. The two men to go, Van Vaik Priyanjan for 6 and 10. And this partnership has been wonderful. Some of the highlights of Suresh Rai, this partnership has been special. 58 of 37. Ferguson has been pretty clinical. But his partner on the other end, the captain of the Delhi Devils, has been absolutely brilliant. He's really enjoyed hitting the ball straight this evening. And he has kept on going on his merry way. 41 of 25 for the <laughs> skipper. So a very important second half to this innings is about to resume. 
and the Devils have got plenty to do. Black. Another really good shot. Oh, Sharma. Jesus Christ. Time to go to Shafali. She's joined by Pradeep Sangwan. इस वक्त मेरे साथ प्रदीप सांगवान है प्रदीप दिल्ली से ही हैं और दिल्ली से दिल्ली डेवल्स के लिए आए हैं कैंडी में खेलने के लिए कैसा रहा आपका सफर बहुत अच्छा रहा कल मैं अपना पहला गेम खेला था ओवरऑल कंपटीशन बहुत हाई है और खेलने में बहुत मजा आ रहा है अपने फिटनेस को आप कैसे कोपअप कर रहे हैं ये शॉर्टर फॉर्मेट जो है नाइनटी बॉल फॉर्मेट है उसको नजर में रखते हुए बहुत क्विक है और क्या है आपको एडजस्टमेंट बहुत जल्दी जल्दी करना है तो थोड़ा चैलेंजिंग है बट ये है कि मजा आ रहा है और हाई कंपटीशन गेम है तो बहुत अच्छा लग रहा है एंजॉय कर रहे हैं जी हाई कंपटीशन गेम है जल्दी जल्दी स्कोर बनना चाहिए अभी फिलहाल स्कोर 78 हो रहा है ऑन द बोर्ड आपको क्या लग रहा है कि क्या स्कोर अच्छा रहेगा आज के लिए बिल्कुल अच्छा रहेगा जैसे रैना भाई बैटिंग कर रहे हैं बिल्कुल सेट है और प्रॉपर जिस टोन में वो खेलते हैं उसी टोन में खेल रहे हैं और गेम को अच्छा लेके जा रहे हैं मुझे लग रहा है की वो फुल आज हम अच्छा टोटल खड़ा करेंगे और राइट फिर भी एक अंदाजा आपको क्या लग रहा है कितना टोटल बन पाएगा मुझे लग रहा है कि 155, 160 बनना चाहिए 155, 160 इज़ द कॉल फ्रॉम प्रदीप सांगवान थैंक यू सो मच प्रदीप हमसे बात करने के लिए ऑल द बेस्ट फॉर द गेम एंड आई होप कि आप जब जाएं फील्ड में और स्टिक करें दूसरी टीम को रन बनाने बिल्कुल मैं कोशिश हो रहेगी की हम जैसे हमारी बैटिंग चल रही है हमारे बॉलिंग में भी उतने ही खड़े उतरे सब लोग और प्रिपरेशन बहुत अच्छी सबकी जी मैं देख रही हूँ लगातार बाउंड्रीज पे बाउंड्रीज पड़ रही है तो मैं सीधा जाऊंगी कॉमेंटेटर्स के पास So that is the half century, Suresh Raina, and he goes to that milestone with probably his best stroke all night. A six over extra cover off Trago. So he's second in the uh, tournament. Captain leading from the front, but they need a win badly. Yorker could come back from okay. Trago. This is a big over already. Under some pressure, three delivery has gone, 12 runs off it. At the moment he's trying to just stem the flow, damage limitation. They really haven't had the opportunity, the Devils, to, to play with freedom throughout this tournament. They've had to try and bat through their overs, they've lost wickets throughout the innings in previous games and for the first time they're reaching a, a time of the innings where they can really start to be ultra aggressive and pick up boundaries aplenty. Ferguson, his strike rate, just over 100 at the moment. Two boundaries from, three boundaries from him thus far. Go, go, go. Defended to the offside. And it's also important that Ferguson tries to put the, the foot down here, not just leave up all the boundary striking to Reina. Have you looked at how the innings is built around uh, John, you'd see that most of the shots have been more straighter and down the ground rather than square of the wicket. The reason for that, I feel, is that the bowling has been more f on a fuller length. Well, he's trying to heave that on the onside, and as you mentioned, he might prefer to hit that a bit straighter. But interesting, uh, earlier on, he interviewed the skipper, Robin Uttapa, and he mentioned that he doesn't mind actually chasing here. A lot of captains have tended to want to bat first, as Suresh Rayner has done, but he mentioned, he mentioned that he wouldn't mind batting second because it skids on. And it's a no ball, and that is a bit of trouble now for Trago, who is... Uh, under some real pressure now 13 off the over noble free hit so this now yeah, is becoming a serious problem for them they're able to change the field because the batters swapped ends a field restriction noble Four in the ring, that is per normal. That's hits of extra, what a shot! Ferguson 
He joins the party now. What a wonderful stroke of the free hit. Well, he's taken the maximum that he can take from that uh, free hit. And that's uh, just what Devils wanted. Trego trying to go wide of the crease, but Ferguson he s was searching for that. He reached out, and that's a good swing of the bat. Wide ball. That's a wide ball. So Trego, he's had a bit of a shock of this over. Unfortunately for him, 22 runs off it. Two wides, a free hit, two sixes and a four. So this is all happening here. The Devils are placed well. John, 96 for two, 54th delivery in, just to be bold. Again, looking, doing it down the ground. Get a single. And that's 23 runs of uh, that uh, Prager over the Devils and 97 for two. losing those two early wickets since then it's been one-way traffic in this partnership 81 of 46 turning into something very very special between these two their team is rooted to the foot of the table unfortunately they've lost three out of three already and you can see they mean business here tonight they want to change things and get some momentum back in their direction so De Silva starts his second set of six there you go. That's a wonderful shot. Flat sweep. Callum Ferguson now. He is stepping it up beautifully. Chaturanga de Silva. I don't think he did much in, much wrong with that delivery. It's not a bad ball, but it's a very good shot. He picked his spot very well. And he was hitting it. He was sweeping it in front, more like a slot sweep. Just got to worry the lengthy balls occasionally is right in that area where you can slog sweep it or you can hit it back straight over. You just got to maybe pull that length back a little bit. Can't let the batter come down and hit you straight. That's a better length. Pulling it into the pitch. Quicker, shorter. And you can't get down to that length. It's just too quick. And also, keeping in mind, John, that this wicket is now over 90 years old. So, it might intend to get slower. So, you need to really, as a bowler, calculate the speed that you're going to bowl on this track. And that's a really good stroke. No, it's risky business, though. Yes, my Oh, the fielder doing a couple of tumbles there. Trago on the boundary. Can you check it, sir? So, that's a real interesting battle, this Nage bowling. Into the rough is De Silva trying to bowl wide outside off stump and trying to get Reina stumped. The skipper missed it in the previous time he bowled. He, he got a, a laugh line. At the moment, he's trying to drag him out wide. Oh, goodness me. That is a sensational stroke all the way for six. Suresh Reina has a big smile on his face. So he should have. Yes, he's enjoying it out there. He had made up his mind. The moment he saw that tossed up a little bit, again, De Silva looking the ball into that rough. But Reina reached for it. Got the elevation and the distance both. This cannot flat it to him. You just got to bowl a hard length, try and make him cut or, or work the ball square. And the bowler now having to change his tactics now, coming round the wicket. Goes again over extra cover or backward point. It slides off the face of the bat, and that's going to run away for another boundary. The Devils are really putting a big score on here. This is brilliant work from them. 114 for two. Ready 
This game is turning into a real cracker. We've been treated. Oh, this batting pair to some wonderful strokes rolling back the year. Suresh Raina, hero of Chennai Super Kings, many, many an RPL trophy. And now it looks to be the batting power play. They've called it, and a brilliant time to call it. This partnership is nearing 100. And Robin Utapa is <laughs> asked his, his senior seamers, Goni. To bowl. He's gone to him every time there's been a batting power play taken. The right hander will be on strike to start, and this is now when you're only allowed three fielders outside the ring. Target, and there's another one of those special celebrations. Ferguson is gone. It happens, isn't it? The two set batters decide, okay, now it's a good time to take the power play, and uh, they try to take home the bowling, and they lose the wicket. And that comes to the end of the partnership. A 98 run partnership just comes to an end, courtesy of Mumprit Goni as Ferguson departs for a well made 29. It's 114 for three, the Devils. So that partnership you mentioned, 90 out of 52, absolute game changer and has got them into this game. And there's still plenty of balls left here. And they're on a great total, they're scoring at almost 12 to the over. Setting the pace here, batting first, winning the toss and doing everything right so far. Brendan Taylor out in the centre, strike rate just over 140. And we want to make a sizable contribution oh, yeah. here in a short stay at the crease that is remaining. John, looking, uh, this is the uh, wicket of uh, Ferguson. Well, he was trying to hit across the line. The ball was straight as an arrow. Well, if you see the feel that Goni is having, he's got a third man on the boundary, he's got a sweeper cover. So his intent might be to go wide of the off stump, maybe a, f maybe a fourth off stump or something. I think uh, just a regular good area to the new player should be good enough here. I don't have to try anything too special. on strike how does he play it from here he's got a new partner at the moment but they keep scoring at this current rate 167 that's where they'll be positioned and that'll be a really good total on this wicket and we thought might be tough to play on 13 and over 176 and then you're entering the area where the high score in the competition has been scored if they go at 15 to the over from here content to work the ball away but he's found the gap and the field has got lots of work to do now so Rana back on strike so he's going to probably try to pay just a minimal risk here pick up some runs wherever he can and just knock it around looking at the batting to come John they don't bat very deep the Devils so this will be a very key partnership for the Devils and Rana knows that Big shot. He said he's going to knock it around. None of that thought process whatsoever. Another six straight down the ground. He's made up his mind down the track. And this is the area that he's really been targeting throughout these innings. 
Long on, long off, and straight back past the bowler. Another six. I'll tell you what, he has walked in a couple of games ago, felt his way into a few games, but today, look at that, a smile, he's in a bit of fatigue setting in, no doubt about it. He's playing some great shots. Five sixes in this innings now. Goes again. He is hitting the ball extremely hard. <laughs> yeah. Well, if it hit him on that leg, that might have hurt the fielder. He didn't show it, but if that hit on his leg, that might have hurt a lot. Because that was hit with some power, John. Some power. Oh, sure is Rainer having a chuckle with a middle fielder there who didn't really want us to have to stop that one. Came at him like a rocket. The poor fielder shaking his hands and he's in a bit of pain there. Last ball in the batting power play. Play a miss. 10 off it. 124 for three. Reiner, he's played an unbelievable innings. He's now number two in the highest list of run scorers. 158 with a strike rate of 162. Today, 74 of 35. It's virtually got uh, Delhi Devils into a good position. 124 for 366 balls, which means they got what four overs left, 24 balls left, and they could really make something out of it. And uh, at the current rate, the projected score is 169. So there's no better person to lead from the front than the captain, because they needed someone like this. When you owe from three, confidence is low, and you think, well, is there any chance we can get to the final? What's the point? But he's turned it around, because they win here tonight, they're still in the shake-up. They really are. And they're well on course to a very big total. Bana has uh, conceded 19 of 12. He is making a lot of room for himself and he's picking his spot. So that's another boundary. He has been magnificent. He's just such a high quality Ooh. short format player. That's hitting middle maybe a touch of off stump but because of his clearing of his right leg he's able to give himself that angle to get it through extra cover i know it sounds silly but he just has a habit of hitting the ball where the fielders aren't all the time it's an amazing ability to be able to do that he's moving very quickly that strike rate is over 200 Very, very close to that leg stump. He moved inside the line. Now, the key will be for Reiner to bat those next four overs or so. If he could do that, Delhi Devils will get to a very good position. Now, they cannot afford to lose the captain. Not sure about the batting left, especially considering that they haven't uh, really prospered too much. Swing and a miss that time. So, Reiner very much the key. Needs to back to the end. Three men on the leg side boundary. There is a man square on the offside. There's a long off out. Short fine, short third in. Oh, <laughs> swing and a miss. It's a wide. It's been called a wide that time. Avana doesn't believe it. Into the pitch. He was swinging hard. Well, I think it depends on where Reiner stands, where he goes to. If he steps, you see, he moves. Now, because Reiner moves, that blue line, which is a, the wide line, that actually moves with the batter. That's not a fixed fixed line. So, Awan is a little bit unlucky there. That's just an indicator. That's, that's a bit of help for the umpire, the blue line. 
again this time. Finds the fielder. Rainer prefers to walk. He must be tired. He's, he, he's limping a bit. That's not very good news for Delhi Devils. He is in, he is in some sort of trouble, discomfort. But for the sake of the team, they want him to bat on. Look what happens here. It might be a little bit of cramp because it's very warm out there, it's humid. And I think the smile suggests that it's cramp rather than a pulled or torn hamstring. The amount of fluid that you lose when you're out there in this sort of heat, it's so difficult to replace. And players do suffer from cramp in these kind of situations. Yeah, it is pretty humid. Not the easiest conditions to try and cope with. Brendan Taylor's role would be to get Rhino on strike. Rhino is limping onto strike. He could be a bit restrained here. Well, there's that old saying, beware the injured man. So, bossy gone? sure that a runner will be allowed at this stage though the two captains had a chat they're asking for a catch he's gone he's gone he gloved it that's a big wicket Avana strikes in fact Reiner doesn't even wait for the umpire yeah I think it's unfortunate for Suresh Reiner to be honest I think that the, the leg was plaguing him I hope for all our sakes that it is cramp and not a, a pulled hamstring or a torn hamstring because this legends cricket trophy needs Suresh Rana. he's such a high quality player and that was an innings right out the top draw he goes for 79 the devils are 131 for four So 131 for four. They're left with 19 balls. They need a very big finish here. 131 doesn't look good enough. At the current rate going at 11 runs and over, they'll, they should get to 166. That's mathematically. Anreed Singh is a new batter. This is another look. Moved inside the line, he's looking for that fine tickle. Just brushed the gloves as it went through. That's a huge scalp. And there you are. It's appreciated because it was a brilliant knock. Right, Pradeep Sangwan, he is the new batter. Strike rate, uh, little over 100. Last ball of the over. It's off the mark on the bounce. In fact, as they get a single, he was swinging hard. It went on the bounce to the fielder at mid wicket. That was Trego. It's 132 for four. 72 balls done. innings have been built around Reiner 79 and Ferguson's support 29 where that partnership took them got them to 114 from 16 at in 98 runs and Reiner being dismissed on 131 now can the Delhi Devils finish off on a high Jakarti is going to bowl some left arm spin Well, ball just pulled a little bit slower. Keep up, keep up, keep up, keep up. They want a second, that'd be suicidally had they gone with it. Now brings Brendan Taylor. This is the seventh bowler being used by the Kings. Sliding down the 
right side. Ball slower. Just attempting the sweep. There is a man at square leg, but nobody behind. So Taylor will be aiming for anything behind square leg. There is a man at short, fine leg. But there is that gap. You get it finer. Good use of the feet. This will go for four. Great place to hit it. If you can hit it straight over the umpire's head with this sort of trajectory, the ball will skip quickly over this very hard surface. And there is a little bit of dew that would have formed on the outfield as well. This time, this we time, got, got, it's got, high. It should be. Oh no, what happened? There was absolute confusion between Nurse and Trego. I thought it was Trego's catch. He was coming in. It was not Nurse, I'm sorry. It is Masakadza. Confusion. I won't say lack of communication because I think there definitely is calling between the two. But it was almost as if... Ah, what was that? Shot. That is a good shout. It's not far off. It's been given not out. But I tell you what, it's not far off. They can have a laugh about it, but how close is this? I think it's sliding down. I think it's a good decision. Very good decision. Just a slide down the leg side that possibly saved Brendan Taylor. Nine of the over. Two to go. 141 for four. Games coming up tomorrow. The Legends Cricket Trophy, the 90 balls continues. The Punjab Royal versus Colombo Lions, the first game. Don't forget, Colombo Lions are without Ovinia. And Sampami takes on the Dubai Giants in the second game at 7 pm. So lots of cricket in the Legends Cricket Trophy of 90 balls, the second edition. Red Goni, he's bowled 12 balls for 20 runs. Got two wickets, he's been good. So, there is an option of Abana finishing off, bowling that fourth over. If, it, if he decides to use him in that last over. Just moving their fielders around. They're just having so many fielders. In fact, four of them on the offside, two of them behind point, one very square. So that's an indication as to where Goni plans to bowl. He's got a long off, he's got that extra cover tight on that 30 yard circle. Very good work by Brendan Taylor. He's picked his gap on the leg side, but only a single. Well, Taylor could have been gone in the previous over. Ball was floated up, but he got straight underneath it, and it was probably Peter Trago's catch coming in from that extra cover boundary. But you just wonder if the different accents has got in the way of the communication here. Hamilton Mazakatsa from Zimbabwe might have said yours, and Trago thought he said mine. <laughs> I wonder if an accent could sound so different. <laughs> but now they're left with what? Ten balls to go. That's a precious dot from Goni. Well, it, it, wording can sound different to me. I mean, I remember growing up as a young boy, you know, when calling, running between the wickets, and you'd play with someone who hadn't played a lot of cricket, and they would say go, and you would think that they were saying no. Yes. Oh, 
shot on him. He played it on. He was looking to try and play that scoop on the leg side with short fine leg in the circle. But all he does is plays it onto his stumps. He's having a good tournament, Goni. He knows what he's doing with ball in hand here. He bowls well with the new one. And at the back end, when he's asked to bowl full, he does the job. Yes, it's a little inside edge onto the stumps for Taylor. But suddenly, the Rajasthan Kings are putting a halt on things here as Taylor goes for eight. 142 for five. One forty-two for five. Now they're left with nine more balls out of the allotted ninety. Uh, Delhi Devils are falling away a little bit after that partnership, and after that uh, really good innings by Suresh Raina, seventy-nine of thirty-nine. They've lost Taylor for eight. Sangwan is just coming, made four of four. Amito Singh, he's got a good strike rate, a best of forty-nine. Looking to try and get that the ball behind square on the leg side. Straight down the ground. This will be four. That's a friendly delivery. Long off is very, very wide there. It's almost at a, a deep extra cover. I mean, this is just tra into a traditional long off for a single, but he's so wide that he barely moves. He's not even in the picture. Top of this outfield being quick, he's giving you real value. And, and now that long off has come, come in a little bit straighter. That's a wide, that's a wide. Brendan Taylor was trying to get that, uh, get that run rate up, looking to play that scoop. Got inside the line, just couldn't get the elevation. Instead, just found the stumps. Ideally, if he got the elevation short fine leg in, that was the plan. Projected score 161. It was around about 170 while Reiner was at the wicket here. He's gone now, so the Devils need a couple of boundaries here to finish. They're running that first run hard. This is a well set field, and uh, I must say that Goni has bowled well. He's got those fielders on the offside. He's looked to bowl wide of the stumps. Going go his wickets. He's got three of them. Taylor, the last one. He's moving up that table now and is the second highest wicket taker in the competition. That's good bowling. That's really good bowling. He's finished the penultimate over. Just conceding seven, 148 for five. down to the last six balls and it will be Avana who will bowl that fourth over he's got one for 27 of 18 deliveries again short third and short fine in the circle there are two on the offside and three others on the leg side boundary almost all of them in front yes they are in front in fact Skoalek seems to be the only exception down the ground for a single Amitos well, the Kings picked a number of spinners in their starting 11 and the thought being that the surface might aid those spinners but it's really been Goni and Awana that have held them together. Together, Goni's 3 for 27, Awana's 1 for 28. Everyone else has been pretty expensive. Yeah, De Silva has gone for 26 in 2. Nurse 20 of 2. trego has gone for 32 of 2. Trego bows a bit of medium pace. But this man... 
Havana has been very good right throughout the season. Swung away on the leg side. Will this split the gap? It won't. What will happen is they'll come back for two. I tell you what, Rajasthan won't mind those twos and singles. They'll want to stop those boundaries. Now the projected score is down to 158. At 14 and over, they'll get to 160. I think 160 is a must here from where they were. They got four deliveries left. They need some really big ones here. This time, he will get a big one, just over the line for six. This is not the first time that the boundary rider has crept in. And what is he? Is he about five meters off the boundary here? If he's right on the fence, if his heels are hugging the fence, I reckon he catches this about head high. Yes, that's right. You could see that the ball was dipping. Had he been on the boundary, there was every chance that he could have. But instead, what, what happened was that, he, as you said, he did come forward and flew over his head. This should be taken. Long on is in play. Chaturanga Di Silva, the catcher. little innings from uh, someone I know it's only 12 but it's off eight balls he has launched one over mid wicket for six these little knocks at the back end are imperative to a decent total being set here but eventually he holds out to long on Pradeep Sangwan goes for 12 157 for six so this happens to be the highest score of the Delhi Devils in the tournament Malhotra will be the new batter. He's left with two deliveries. Let's see what he could do with the two deliveries left. Abana has been good. He's already got two for 36. Again into the gap. In fact, straight to the field. Only a single. We're down to the last ball. Yeah, someone just perished in the course, really. They're looking for boundaries. They're looking for a big finish. Doesn't find the middle of the bat. But a nice innings, nevertheless. But Delhi Devils have given them something to bowl at. This has been their best score so far in the Legends Cricket Trophy 2024. But the question is, do they have enough? Because the Rajasthan Kings, they have a very good batting lineup. Right, we're down to the last ball. What could Amitos do here? Can he get a boundary? In fact, he does even better. I think it's six. It's gone. No, it's one bounce. Oh, in fact, it's six. Sorry, my eyesight. <laughs> For a moment, I thought it bounced inside the line, but he's done brilliantly well. He's finished off with a six. 16 runs of the last over. Delhi Devils, 164 for six. Good shot, this by Amatos. Brave as well to get inside the line understanding that that man at fine leg is inside the 30 yard circle he may not have been looking for six but he got it in the end that's a lovely finish for the delhi devils that is more than competitive in this surface we know they've got a good batting lineup the kings but they've relied heavily on the form of their captain robin utapa who's been in sensational form maybe tonight it's going to be someone else's turn Right, we're almost ready with the way the flash interview. Let's go across and join Ashish. Hmm? Yes, I'm down here with Suresh Raina. Tell us, what were you thinking when you came in for this must-win match today? We just wanted to play the uh, uh, good intent cricket. I think uh, the power play was very important. That's why I thought I, I should bat number three. Mm -hmm. And when you're losing, you need to do something very special for the team. I think yeah. the boys are putting really hard work. Yeah. I think still, I would say we are... Uh, 15 and short. Mm. I think a lot of dues there. Yeah. Let's hope uh, we just go out there and, and use the power play. All right, 164. Are you confident about this score? Yes, definitely. I think we have a good bowling unit. 
and I think the boys are putting really, really hard work on the on the batting, uh, bowling power play. Mm. Just need to get a couple of wickets early, and mm. I think we have enough runs. As I said, I think due will be bigger, but let's hope for the best. What is your plan to defend? And tell us about the bowlers that you will use to defend this call. I can't tell you right now. <laughs> I need to go out there and, and see what wickets are offering. I think we have uh, Mono, Pradeep Sangwan, Ishan, and Anurit has been bowling really, really well. Right. I think Bal and Ishan, I think we just need to vary the pace. Let's mm -hmm. hope we can put the uh, ball in the right areas. Also, it's a beautiful evening, but under these lights, what must the bowlers be thinking when defending? I think I think Awana and Goni, they bowl really, really well, mm -hmm. and especially the left front spinner. Later on, I think uh, that's what uh, I was thinking. They have a two left, three left front spinner. Mm -hmm. So that's what I told Focus, and you bat four, I bat three. So that's why we capitalized uh, the early overs in batting. I think we, we batted really well as a, as a unit. All right, the pressure is real. We wish you all the very best for Thank the second so innings. And what are you commentators? Right, so Resh Raina just talking about that innings, talking about playing those left arm spinners and very confident with the score of 164 for six himself, making 79 of 39, Ferguson 29. And then you could see Amitos coming in and getting that six to finish innings, finish the innings at 164 for six. The strikers occupy that top spot with 185 for six as the highest team totals during this edition of the Legends Cricket Trophy. But the Devils have sneaked on the board with their best performance to date. Let's look at the bowling. Kony was good. He had three wickets for 27. Avana went for a few, two for 43. Chakati bowled just six deliveries for eight runs. And the spinners not really coming to the party. Right, Rajasthan Kings now they need to look at or they need to chase 165 of 90 balls. Well, under the lights here at the Palakeli International Stadium, we've seen Suresh Raina's Delhi Devils light up the sky with some uh, very impressive hitting. And now Rajast Rajasthan Kings uh, under the sk skippership of Robin Uttapa. They're going to have to chase down 165 to win this match. 
Well, Suresh Raina's team, they won the toss. He won the toss and said, we'll have a bat first. Morny van Veek got them off to a good start. He's very dangerous. Ah! And then this, he was a judge, Del Bidoubli. It was a, not a good decision. It hit him way outside the line of uh, off stump and he shouldn't have been given. But then they try to consolidate. And some uh, good, good fielding and catching. Goni, the uh, recipient of the wicket, and then Suresh Raina came in and steadied the ship, as he does so often. Suresh Raina playing a captain's role here in getting the team going with Callum Ferguson. It is a wonderful partnership, 98 to be precise. Suresh Raina and Callum Ferguson, really. And Suresh Raina is very severe down the crown. So where he got his half century and Callum Ferguson then joined the party with uh, Suresh Raina. He loved to sweep and cut. Suresh Raina is very severe down the ground. He loved uh, coming down the track. He was not afraid to come down the spinners. And that's uh, Goni picking up uh, Callum Ferguson and ending the punch. Yeah, Goni has been a, 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 a very useful acquisition for the Rajasthan Kings. Awana getting the glove, getting uh, Suresh Raina caught behind. Raina was hampered with what looked to be a leg injury. And then Brendan Taylor walking across his stumps, getting out. Still the runs kept coming. And uh, they remember that they were 16 for two. And uh, Awana picking up wickets with the uh, runs which were helping Delhi to get to this decent target. And at uh, 164 for six, 79 magnificent runs from Suresh Raina from 39 balls. Callum Ferguson, 29. That was the crucial partnership of 98. And those runs at the end from Amitos King and uh, Pradeep Sangwan, all helping the Devils get to 164 for six. And that partnership. 98, Suresh Raina, Callum Ferguson, and uh, that was really the backbone of that innings. And the bowling for the Rajasthan Kings. Three wickets for Mampreet Goni, he looked the best. Two for Havana, he was a little expensive. And a wicket uh, for Bipu Sharma, but the others not getting him on the wickets column and going for some runs, over 10 runs and over. Yeah, Goni's figures are outstanding. Three overs, three for 27. Ashley Nurse, two overs for 20, but uh, it was a pretty good effort by Rajasthan, considering that uh, Delhi climbed out of trouble. Now, Pradeep Sangwan there, wearing 33, the left arm pace bowler. He'll have a certain part to play. Callum Ferguson was looking good with the bat. And uh, the, the Delhi Devils with Anurit Singh. What a key uh, component he has been. There he is with the bandana. <laughs> Anurit Singh, Pradeep Sangh, one Manu Singh, Iqbal Abdullah, the left arm uh, spinner, Ishan Malhotra. I doubt that we're going to see Suresh Raina. So the last few words from Suresh Raina, just saying, uh, just caught her, just a little bit as he entered the circle, saying, "Let's let's do it as soon as we walk out there. Let's get the fielding right, which is good." Rajasthan Kings, then they need 165 to win from uh, 90 balls. Remember, this is 15 overs per innings, and the run rate starts at a. Well, I know it, so we say it often, but they need to get off to a good start. The power play, the first four overs. The Rajasthan Kings, Robin. 
Robin Utapa has been in sublime form. Look at Robin Utapa, the new slimline, Robin Utapa. I uh, did a, a toss uh, with him earlier in the tournament, and he said that he's been on a campaign to increase his fitness, to lose weight, and he says he's never felt better. And honestly, I've, I've never seen him in this shape. I've never seen him looking as good as this. Maybe he's trying to nudge people back home in India to say, you know what, I've still got bags of runs left in me. Yeah. But uh, he's, uh, yeah. Now, I've been very impressed with uh, Jatin Saxena because the way he batted in that previous game was incredible. That partnership really just took the game away from the opponents and uh, the Kings just went to a comfortable victory. Yeah, you're right. Absolutely right. The required rate, I did get O-level maths. I couldn't go much further than that. Iqbal Abdullah, left arm spin. But there's a nice symmetry to this. 165, 15 overs, 90 balls. It starts at 11 runs per over. That's the pressure that Robin Utapa and uh, Jatin Saxena are under. Robin Utapa in this tournament, his first score was 72 from 30 balls. His next was 53 from 26, and then 55 from 22. So it's the new Robin Utapa, or should I say Robin Utapa Mark II. But uh, love watching him bad. He's been, he, he is so good on the eye. So wherever you're watching this at home, the Legends Cricket Trophy here for 2024, enjoy this, and I hope I haven't put the mockers on him. So 165 is the target for the uh, Rajasthan Kings, led by this man, Robin Utapa, the skipper. And I like this from Suresh Raina. He's got a slip in place. He's looking for the wicket. Yep, good. Let's see if the ball turns. Abdullah. Oh, he's gone big. That is a big hit from Suresh Raina. A big hit from Robin Uthapa. Magnificent blow. I was looking at Suresh Raina's face. It was just a gog at what had gone on there. But Robin Uthapa sets the tone. What a start. What a start. Look at that. <laughs> Suresh Raina, you can see him watching at sleep, but he just was a spectator. Even the field at mid wicket. Well, the highest total chased in this tournament is 154. That was by the Candy Sump Army against the New York Strikers. So, and that was that. That was last night on this very pitch. Has he hit this well? Has he hit it? He has. It's six more. Abdullah shouting for the ball to land into those hands at mid-wicket. Sometimes the bowlers feel that they've got their man, but that one was going, going, going and going. And gone. Wonderful technique from Utapa. All his weight went into the shot. You can't blame the fielder there. Uh, Iki, Iqbal Abdullah, Brendan out from slip, out from slip. Oh, yeah. No, gotcha. no, no, he hasn't hit it. Morley van Beek yeah. takes the catch. That's the one they wanted. Suresh Reiner goes straight up to his bowler. Morley van Beek takes the catch. He's got a safe pair of hands. Robin Utapa, his first failure of the tournament. So Robin Utapa's innings comes to end. He goes for 12. It's 12 for one. The Kings. And there you go. For a moment, for a moment, Alan, I felt that Utapa checked on that shot without really going through it. But you've got to give the credit to the bowler for that. He just got a few more revs on it. It's bowled it a bit slower, but uh, 
Utapa. He's gone for 12. It is 12 for one. Well, one strong hitter be replaced by another strong man. Hamilton Masakadza. His strike rate in this series has been very good, yeah, 141. No, no, too much in between that. Yeah, perfect. Two legs. Got almost 100 runs. That's a crushing blow for Rajasthan Kings and for us. I'm sorry, but I... Yes, I'm neutral in commentary. Of course I am. But I do enjoy Robin, uh, watching Robin Uthapa bat. And that's uh, memory now. Oh! What did you say? Twelve for one. Rajasthan Kings are stacked with batting. Hamilton Mazakatsa comes in three. Peter Trago, Ashley Nurse, Angelo Pereira, Chatrunga de Silva. And that's about it, really. Pavinda Awana can, uh, can bat, but now Anurit Singh, he's been bowling well in this tournament. Seven wickets at nine, 9.5, three for 33 is best. Upish, gone, gone. That's two quick scalps. Anurit Singh keeps taking wickets. Well, the heroes of the previous day for the Rajasthan Kings are both back in the pavilion. This is Saxena trying to go over long off, but only finds Malhotra at uh, mid off. So that is the end of. Uh, Jatin Saxena, he goes without troubling the scorers, it's 12 for 2 and the Kings are in a bit of trouble. So they shuffle their batting order, Angelo now, oh sorry, or rather Alan, and they bring Angelo in. I don't mind being Angelo Pereira for the night. <laughs> Anurit Singh has been taking wickets in this tournament and he starts with one here, Malhotra taking the catch. It wasn't the ball to hit, to try and hit over mid-off. Delhi Devils off to a good start here. Two Rajasthan Kings back in the dugout. And it brings Angelo Pereira to the middle. Two new batters at the crease. Right, so Hamilton Mazakaz has played uh, some big innings for Zimbabwe over the years and for uh, various franchises. He needs one tonight. Two legs, two legs. Right arm over, four more to come. You can see a spring in the step with the Delhi Devils in the field. And they feel that they're in with something in this game. They need a win badly. And I'm sure, Alan, there are some very happy people at the moment. At the moment. Somewhere to go. You're right. Yeah. Oh, that's a re be a retake well this is the first one Robin Utapa 
He has been timing the ball magnificently, but this time he didn't go through. He finds Morny van Veek at long off. The Devils looking for their first win of this tournament. Rajasthan Kings need a win to get level with the leaders. That is emphatic from Mazakadza. It's one of the most difficult shots to play for as a batter, to play an on drive. And that's perfectly done. It is. And look how high his back lift. Look at the back lift here. Hands through the ball. this that is absolutely raced off the uh, middle of that bat you can't mm -hmm. hold out to Hamilton Mazakats up he will hit you nine times out of ten to the boundary unusual this look at that he doesn't use his left hand to get the grip right. Wait, wait. It's a very unusual start to the run-up by uh, Anirudh Singh. 22 for two from two overs. for the Rajasthan Kings, Utapa and Saxena are back in the hut. Mazakadza and Angelo Pereira, three and four. Peter Trago from England and Ashley Nurse, West Indies. Ashley Nurse is very capable of uh, mounting an assault on these bowlers. Here's Abdullah. Oh. Abdullah, the man responsible for removing Robin Utapa. Angela Perra had a cameo of a nine ball cameo in one game in this tournament with a quick fire 20, but he needs more than that in this. Gone! That's why the slip is there. That's why Devils have got it planned. Rana takes a smart catch, Mazakata. He's walking back. Very well bowled. Saw the batsman coming down, dropped it a little, and that found the edge. And Suresh Raina, he wouldn't make a miss. So Hamilton Masakadza makes a walk back for eight. It's 23 for three. No, no, Alan. The Rajasthan Kings. Uh, in a spot of bother. Peter Trago comes in, he's got a loads of experience, but he has to play a he needs to play innings out of this world to get them going. Oh, this is a beautiful piece of bowling. And Suresh Rana, that's why he's there. That's why he's there to help the bowling of his left arm spinner. Next up, please. Yeah. Iqbal Abdullah. Peter Drago, who's uh, clearly spent a fair bit of time in the tattooist parlor. Goodness, that must have taken some time. And anyway, they need something special from him now. Well, there's a tight, suffocating grip on this now by Devils. 23 for 3, Rajasthan Kings. It will take some recovery, this. No, that's missing. 
This is good from Abdullah. He's really mixing things up. He's bowling with a very good plan. The Devils are on a roll here. Number five is in the third over. You've got to compliment uh, Suresh Raina, the way that he's uh, set the field. He's kept himself at mid-off and slip as well. It's gone in there. Oh dear. Gosh, a touch of the Fred Astaire's going on there. 24 for three, three overs, 25 for three, three overs gone. Still, the Rajasthan Kings have Ashley Nurse lined up at six in the batting order. Now, Ashley Nurse has opened the innings. He's gone in the top three or four for a large part of his uh, cricket career. So he's very much a batter who can contribute to this fighting cause for Rajasthan, for the Kings. New bowler is Manu Singh. Oh, uh, there's a lot of noise out there with the Delhi Devils. They believe that they're uh, on course here. They're in pole position to record their first win of the campaign. for 14 is best in his T20 career up and over that extra cover for four so Angelo Pereira breaks the shackles there and gets the boundary they need a lot more of that it wasn't a bad ball but it was very well executed no you're right Absolutely, because he's hit this on top of the bounce. It's nowhere near a half volley. But such is the bravado and confidence of this, the modern player in this kind of format. 90 ball or T20. The hit through the line of the ball. That's a wide. Brendan Taylor, former Zimbabwe cricketer. He's behind the stumps. This happens, isn't it, Alan? The moment you get a good ball away for a boundary, then the bowler starts to think otherwise, try to do something different, and you end up bowling a wide. Yeah, you can overcompensate, and that's what it, uh, Mono Singh did. That's an extraordinary shot. And it's going to land safely. I was looking at two fielders there. And how on earth did that not go into the hands of one of them? Two, please. Oh, Suresh Raina. He can't believe it either. The headmaster's not pleased. Some days it's not your day. <laughs> Some nice banter out there. <laughs> Peter Trago's just turned round to, I think it was Brendan Taylor, he said, do you ever get that feeling when you think it's not going to be your day? <laughs> yeah, he's a good wholehearted cricketer, Peter Trago. Here he is. Uh, fine leg was inside the circle now he's been pushed back down to the fence uh, this has been a good over from uh, Manu Singh 
because he went for a boundary in the second ball but he's come back well he's only given seven runs yeah he has so when you go for an early boundary he's done well just the one wide and then uh, two singles now then no it's four couldn't finish the over off that's the power play done 36 for three since the Kings have been in a position like this. Found a run rate at over 11 and three wickets down and their champion, Robin Utapa, is already back in the hut. Okay. The power play is complete. That's the first 24 balls. There's very little difference in terms of the power plays at the moment. Okay. Delhi made 33 for two, Rajasthan 37 for three. They've lost a wicket. <laughs> this is Angelo Pereira. They're a wonderful innings in one of the games for Rajasthan. Nine balls, he got 20 plus. He's a quick Wait. scorer with international experience. Go, 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 That's, boy. A good go, shot. Go, go. That's wonderful placement. That really is a good shot. He'll enjoy this bowling. Angelo Pereira, medium pace, spin. He plays them well. Just look at how he makes room. His initial reaction was to stand on the off stump, gave himself room and then just found that gap. Clever batting. He's got enough, he's got enough. Mornay van Veik will just watch it sail over his head and Pereira's doing it again here. This is a good little knock from Angelo Pereira at the moment. 22 of 9, 3 4s and 1 6. He's looking to release the pressure at one stage, 3 for 23. And now they've got to 47 in a matter of 27 balls. 11 in the over. Just trying to get out of jail here. Release the pressure. That appears to be the plan. Okay. Well, that innings you were talking about was 26 not out of nine deliveries against the Candy Samp Army, and it was a, it was a good innings that it probably didn't get crossed up in highlights like uh, it should have been because of the the way that Robin Utapa has been playing throughout the tournament. But now he he can't play. A little cameo like that 23 of 10 is a good innings but it needs to go on here because they are in a spot of bother and a lot of their batters haven't spent any time out in the middle it's a position that they've they're not accustomed to being in that's a good finish, good finish. clever damage was done early on in the over so that's smart cricket from Pereira and Trago end of the 30th delivery 50 for three
their best uh, inning so far, the Devils. 164 for six. What an innings from Suresh Reiner. 79 from 39 balls. He really yeah. is a wonderful white ball player. The ability to manipulate the field to his suiting. It really was a quite exceptional innings. <coughs> Change of bowling. Sungwon now into the attack. So some more seam. Pereira's got the strike. Yeah, that's a good economy rate, I'll have you know, in T20 cricket. Under eight to the over. That's that's very good, especially with the amount of games played. We're just talking about the innings Suresh Raina played and also Robin Uttapa getting out for 12. Wow. I mean, the Rajasthan Kings batting have re batting has revolved around Robin Robin Uttapa. So Take that's two, the danger, two, as you Take very two. clearly and correctly pointed out. The middle order has been exposed. And they haven't really been at their best. It's been all Robin Uttapa. There was, we also did see, yeah, Saxena, Masakadza. We've seen them get runs. But they needed, as you said, this partnership of uh, Angelo Pereira and uh, Trego to drag them a little bit closer. See, also they got to keep an eye on that run rate because it's a score that is not an easy one, 113 or 58. It, it, it takes some getting, yeah, because the run rate required is just under 12. So they have two frontiers to conquer. They need to get that partnership going. The rate of scoring. And that before, Angelo Pereira has been very good. He's been picking his spots and he's been scoring quickly. Just needs to get his hip out the way here uh, to be able to get it that fine. You know, I think we've got to just keep reminding ourselves as well as the viewers that it's just 90 balls so as soon as you hear that score 160 you think oh well it's an average score well that's for maybe a t20 well below par for a t20 that will fall safely they should get two and do but 160 plus in a 15 over game that that's a big score yeah that will take some getting because you're looking at 12 runs and over. And uh, you're talking about the situation for the Rajasthan Kings where they have lost their top three batters. And they were three for 23 at one stage. And now a partnership in process. I have reason to believe that in 2008, in the 2008 IPL auction, there was a a bit of a discussion around two players that the Delhi Daredevils could go for. One was this fella, Sung Wan. Another one was someone you might not have heard of, Virat Kohli. And uh, the Delhi Daredevils decided they didn't need any more batters, so they went with Sung Wan. Well, I'll tell you what, you might look back at that now and think, oopsie, not suggesting he's not a good cricketer, but the other one happens to be a great. That's four more. Now they're starting to move. 59 for three. 36 balls done. 63 for three. 36 balls done. over in that previous one 13 from it they were ahead of the run rate the Rajasthan Kings however as has been discussed up here is that the concern is another wicket goes down and the rest are untried in this competition but a boundary to end the last 
Nicely done by Trego. This is a good partnership, and we know that Trego too is an aggressive player. Can take on the bowling. He's complimenting Angelo Pereira very well. He's just got nine of nine, but it's the partnership. 40 of 23. Pereira has been doing all the scoring, but Trego has been good in his support. He's been knocking balls into gaps and also getting that odd boundary. Turns out to be pretty useful here. The last 30 balls have been very productive for the Rajasthan Kings. They've made 52 runs and a wicket only, which is a very good comeback considering that they lost three wickets early. The openers. Sakadza. Running has been good and also aggressive running. These two cricketers, I believe, do play. They're currently involved in cricket, so their Can running is up? good. Can you come up? And they're quite willing to look for those quick runs. The twos, very different to some of the other players in the side. So there is a bit of pressure on the fielding side. Helmet coming onto the ground, which means that Taylor is going to stand up to the stumps. And this is just to prevent the batter from going down the wicket, just to try and keep him honest. That's four. Dangerous line to bowl. I know he's got three behind square on the offside, but that's a very dangerous line to bowl. Also not, a, not at that pace, short and wide. He doesn't have enough cover behind point. The man on the boundary is at almost an extra cover. So you get past one of them, that's four. Yeah. So Malhotra will have to be very, very straight. He's conceded six of three, including that boundary now. There is a change. I think just the two fielders exchanging positions, but still, he'll have to be tight. He'll be looking to bowl more wicket to wicket. Not wide of the off stump. Now we've spoken about Angelo Pereira loving, enjoying medium pace. And he capitalizes on that. Fielded. Very good fielding in the deep. That saved a certain boundary. Malhotra's all over the place here. Sung one in the deep. Well, there's the reason they chose him ahead of Kohli. Brilliant bit of fielding. He's got to bowl the ball. If he's got those three men behind point on the offside, he doesn't for Trago. He doesn't for Trago. He's got a different field for Peter Trago. But for Pereira... Woo! Shot. Great shot. That's battered through extra cover. This is a bit too friendly as the 50 partnership comes up in of just 28 deliveries. Pace of the ball looking to bowl that off cutter just looped up in his zone and that's a wide open area on the offside he's just bowling the incorrect lengths and lines to the field that's set now that's that's a better length to trago with the field that's set end of 42 balls 74 for three of cricket here in this new format of 90 balls and innings here in Palakele and credit to the curator and his ground staff they really have produced some good surfaces for this particular format it would be so easy to have slow and low and low scoring games but every single one of them have been highly entertaining the batters have feasted while the bowlers have had to showcase their skills with their variations of of pace and line and length it's been excellent I think as you said the batting has stood out there's been some classy knocks 
We've spoken about a few players in this game. We saw Suresh Raina bat brilliantly. Dilshan got runs. Tirimana, a magnificent 90. Robin Uttapa. So there have been some special knocks in the tournament. The batters have stood up. They've been cut. They have uh, batted in a way that they have uh, got themselves counted with their performance. You must remember, Roshan, that no one retires from the game of cricket because they're tired of batting. You know, bowlers retire because their bodies are sore. Batters retire because they're tired of warming up and fielding. No one has ever gets tired of batting. That's why I always felt that in this game, the batters hold a little bit of an advantage. <laughs> two in a row now and also add to that if they are the more current of the, if, if the batters have been playing I mean they hold a massive advantage then they come into a game with 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 a massive lead over the rest of the team or the rest of the bowling so that's been seen here although on the flip side your countryman who plays more cricket than anyone else in the world world is Siri Odana <laughs> He definitely comes with a distinct advantage because he, I don't think he's ever retired. He is retired, but he's super fit. How can he be retired? He plays in the LPL, he plays in the BPL, he plays in every league and now he's here. I'm not sure he's going to play in the LPL, but I can tell you one thing. He's a super fit guy. And not just now, but in his playing days and even today. Oh, well, he had three goes at it, and he gets it right on the fourth. Peter Trago with a biggie. Yeah, that's some... Um, that he, one can say that he salvaged something out of it out of those three dots. A single, three dots, and now he gets a six. So he still has, has the opportunity of making it even better, because one ball left in the over. Important that they score off it. That's the important thing, not another dot, because that six has salvaged the over seven from it now. But that required rate is nearly at 12. Oh, they thought about it, they thought about it, but wisely went against the single because it went to Suresh Reina. And he has a habit of hitting on the full. So that's the end of the 48th delivery. It's 81 for three. And it's a roundabout now where there needs to be a tactical discussion. And so there will be a strategic timeout. Welcome back to Palakali International Stadium. This game is right in the balance. If you're just tuning in, Delhi Devils posted a substantial 164 for six with a skipper, 79 of 39 deliveries. What a knock he's played. And at the moment, the Kings in reply, 81 for three. A really good partnership between Trago 
And Angelo Pereira, 58 of 35. They've got a score at 12 to the over. It's a massive effort to achieve it. Priyanjan is coming into the attack after the strategic timeout. This should be an interesting encounter. Two right-handers. They're going to try to take him on. They can't take long. Can't have a look. They need to go straight away. For a moment, John, oh, Delhi would have felt that uh, with the back of Uttapa, Saxena and Hamilton, Masakadza, they were in the game. But this has been a wonderful partner. 58 of the 59 of 36. Yeah, they've got themselves an opportunity. They thought they were out of it, but this pair has got them to a position where they can still win it. At the moment, one a ball is not working out for them. They need to score two a ball. So when the rate hits 12, it's exceptionally hard for a batting side to get over the line. Funny looking stroke. Back foot chip shot. Good running. Very good running. The need to do that. Angelo Pura is a pretty fit man. He played uh, in the Sri Lanka domestic till very recent time. So he's uh, been in and out. This man. Oh, very well bowled. Very well bowled. Now he's another counterpart who's been in the playing arena till very late. Well, he's been pretty good at mixing his pace up so far. Very slow, and then the last one a lot quicker. Short up. What he isn't doing is floating it up into that area under the batsman's eyes where he can run down and smash it all around the ground. He's bowled the length a little bit shorter and, and he's made the batting pair hit squarer. It's not easy to run down and try and whack him. So, five off the over, one delivery remaining. There's the slot ball. That's where you don't want to land it. And that's landed up on the banks. That is a huge stroke to finish the six balls. 92 for three. Comparison, it's uh, not much of a difference. The Delhi team had lost one wicket lesser, but Rajasthan are in the game. And, uh, what a hit this was! Uh, the last ball, he picked it up very well. His weight was on the back foot, and again, this time, Angelo Ferra goes through extra cover. That's a boundary. This is what they need to be dealing with boundaries and sixes. One of six. Back of a length delivery, and that is really an unbelievable stroke. Not a bad ball by any means, but he's hit that well in front of square through the extra cover region on the up. And this pair is playing something pretty special out in the center. Partnership 73 now, picking up their boundaries. Another shot through extra cover. He's calling for two. I don't think he might get a few more. No, just the two. So they've run between the wickets excellently here. Plenty of energy out there. And, and An Angela Perra is one short of a half century. This partnership is worth 75. This is the best for the Rajasthan Kings. Change in the field. The final leg comes up. The long off drops down. Good Yorker. And he's pushing for two, but I think it's only going to be kept down to a single. So 50 comes up for Pereira. Special knock from him, and the appreciation is evident. He's played a wonderful hand. He's such a skillful player, and he's shown us his full array of strokes this evening. 
he's keeping his side in this game. Six fours, one six, and that strike rate. Very, very good indeed. Full and straight. They're running hard for two. This is an amazing two if they can get it. Hasn't even got out the ring. 100 up on the board. And I'll tell you, John, this 76 run partnership, 78 in fact. You need to give good credit to these two batters. Is it from 23 for three? They brought the Kings within striking range. Make a match out of this one. So we got a game on hand. Looks as though he lost his footing there and he almost he almost took a took a fall in that delivery stride. Might have to another look at his back foot here. Oh, I'll tell you what, his ankle, not sure what happened there. He pulled out of his action very late. That wasn't the issue. It might be his right foot landing. Wasn't comfortable with it. And the, to the, the delivery. Full and straight. Oh, I got the foot out this time. The old left shoe. Brilliant work from the bowler. Good commitment. Good commitment from uh, Monosing. That is pretty firmly struck by Trego. But. Uh, Monosing manages to keep it as a top ball. What he has done when he's under pressure, he's gone to the Yorker. And the last two deliveries really full. Not letting Trago get underneath it. And that's important. He's got one delivery left in the set of six. Nine off the over. Ah! Yorker again. Not quite full enough, and it's gone all the way. So Trago now, three sixes in the last three overs for him. He's on a roll. Kings 107 for three. Kings 58 needed of 30 balls. It's come under 12 and over. They're making some inroads towards this target. They're bringing the acquired rate down. And the last over, what a shot he finished with. Trago in the action once again. Look at that. Stand and deliver. Beautifully done. Good power hitting. It was quite a full deliver, and he still got underneath it. That's immense power from that position. So this is the fourth over. Abdul is the man. Flat batted. As we know from... Oh, Van Vakers missed the ball at long off. And that's gone for four now. The Devils were in the game, their previous game. At the similar point, And they managed to lose it. Do they have the ability to break this losing streak they're on? This is just a bit of a kink starting to show on the Devils. <laughs> Sliding down the leg side but as mentioned earlier in the competition one bowler has to bowl 24 deliveries and this is the man they've chosen Abdullah he's been good two for 33 so far. Big shot, that is gone, Vinyamal, way back. Well, it was right there, just where Pereira wanted it. He opens the left foot out and then goes through with it, gets it hard, high and handsome. 
into those banks for six. And the Devils, they got to worry here now. Extra cover, well placed in the gap again. Pereira. 40 runs in the last 16 balls. And this now, the warning lights are flashing hard right now for the Devils. They're in big trouble here. This partnership, 98 or 51. This is an amazing partnership. 98 runs from 51 deliveries. Yeah, beautifully done. This time he goes back past the bowler. And that's another boundary. It's the 100 partnership. And it's really a fantastic knock from Angelo Pereira. He's moved on to 68 of just 31. This is such a good stroke. It's only the second 100 partnership in this tournament. And what a time to pull it out the hat. And this time he's happy just to knock it on the onside. So that is a huge set of six. 19 runs coming from it, 126 for three. Rajasthan Kings are going along at a blistering pace here, just 39 required from 24. Angelo Pereira, 69 from 32. Now that translates into a strike rate of 215. Peter Trago giving him good support 33 from 22 so this partnership is 103 from 53 Anirid Singh I'm I'm amazed at the start of this run-up HD Ackerman look at that he doesn't use his left hand to place the ball at all belts it straight back over the bowler's head it's four well, at the moment, I don't think there's a cue of anyone from the Devils side that actually wants the ball in their hands. Because Pereira and Trago have been magnificent. He's only a diminutive little man, isn't he? But she packs a punch. Yeah, he does. I think he might. Uh, I think he might have done some gym work along the way. It's gone again. It's the same again. He's got his sights set on a match-winning knock here, Angelo Pereira. And Anirit Singh has got to come up with something here to break this partnership. Isn't it amazing? How long has this game of cricket been going? 150, 200 years. And still, down the ground is the place to hit it. Absolutely spot on, HD. Down the ground. You don't put fielders there. We talk about all these different fielding positions and everything else, but down the ground, it's bullet straight, straight back over the bowler's head where he hates it most. So the partnership now, 111 and 56. That's the first one, straight back over the umpire's head. And he'll be a little bit upset because it was just wide of the umpire. But the gap between long on and long off is immense. And that's why it's such a good place to be able to hit the full ball. Oh, he's looking for that full length, maybe the Yorker. So as a bowler, you've got to find a way to stop him hitting down the ground, to stop Pereira hitting straight. What do you do? Okay, so you can go wide and full, you, or take a lot of pace off the ball. Trego, also strong down the ground. How do you stop him? Maybe you go wide. By the way, HD, I, I, I mentioned that his bat. Peter Trego, this bat does not, the handle, the bat handle, 
does not have a splice. That's that. We're looking at the full toss. We're looking at the full toss. It's not a full toss. Peter Trago's bat is made out of one solid piece of wood. There is no handle in it. The, the handle, which as you know, somebody's made of bamboo and rubber and spring, that is one solid piece of wood and the handle is part of the big piece. Oh! Yes, yes, he was yes. telling me the other day out in the middle and he said it's a, it's a new design and I said, well, what about the spring? He said, oh, they've done something in there. He said they put something, but there's there's no splice. You see where the, the orange is? There is no splice there. Yeah, he, he knows he's on the big screen there. He was giving us a good look at it, turning it around. There we go. Thanks, Peter. It, I, f I find that amazing, though, because I always felt if, when I when I played that as soon as the bat handle loosened a little bit in the cliff, the bat was at its best. Interesting. Shot. Good shot. That's it, buddy. That's it. Well, I always told the person who made my bats, could you make them four times wider? Never did the trick. 137 for three. This match is so important for the uh, Delhi Devils, who, along with the Colombo Lions, have not opened their account. Uh, banking hours are open all hours. But, uh, the Devils have lost three. Colombo Lions have lost three. Rajasthan Kings, if they win this, they uh, look at their healthy net run rate, 2.5. They would go top if they win this match. They will go top above New York strikers the New York superstar strikers Malhotra that's four he's uh, just nudged around the corner the runs are coming thick and fast uh, the line is wrong here he slips down the leg side you see that's not threatening the stumps and it's a it's almost like a free hit got to threaten the stumps if you're going to bowl and pitch it up you've got to be threatening those stumps you can hear the call is for two prevent them getting to clean pickup that's uh, well done Amito Singh out there I know we're a long way off he's 16 runs here away from Andrew. I know he's a long way off Angelo Pereira but I think he's starting to smell it because he's he keeps shouting two and he, try, and he nips one off the last ball of every over. Oh, he's belted this. He has absolutely belted it. Peter Trego, another boundary. That's three fours and three sixes. Well, I don't know how they make that bat, but it's sounding pretty good. I tell you what, Mel Hotter is having a tough evening as well. He's gone for 20 off nine balls here as well. And the problem is, is as a bowler, you're thinking, well, I can't get keep one off the strike because they're both belting me. Highest partnership in the tournament so far, 123. Beep, beep. Whoa, whoa. Sorry. 19 runs to win from 15 deliveries. There has to be some dot balls. Oh, God, stinging. They're like hand grenades at the moment. That cricket ball is like a hand grenade. Nobody wants to keep hold of it. What is very noticeable here is that the men, I say inside the 30-yard circle, but I use that very loosely because they are right on the edge of the 30-yard circle. He saved four there. The bowler is saying catch it. 
they're going to be some sore fingers tonight. I'm not sure they'll be able to pick up a glass. Those fingers have been damaged. And, uh, you're right, it's been a chastening experience for uh, Mahutra. Isan Mahutra, but a another top ball here just puts a bit more pressure. Bottom hand comes into it, into the shot, it's four. End of the over, 150 for three. One fifty for three. Rajasthan Kings and uh, Angelo Pereira, the uh, Sri Lankan batter, is uh, doing tremendously here. Eighty-four from thirty-nine, and it's the batting power play now. This is the last ball. It's another off-pace delivery. It's a slot ball that has been slotted. And that's just got hit me written all over it. Sorry, Ishan, but something's got to be a little different from that so batting power play so maximum of three fielders only on the boundary and what do we have where are they we got uh, deep mid wicket long on and deep backward square so three on the leg side and he's going to come over the wicket Pradeep Sangwan left arm Medium fast. Four. It's a bad ball. It's a full toss. 154 for three. Sangwan's got to come up. Pradeep Sangwan has got to come up with something pretty out of the ordinary this over. Not like that. He hits them everywhere, doesn't he, Pereira? He's hit them on the leg side, down the ground. Now he squirts it away past backward point. He is so difficult to bowl to. There could be four more. It's four more. 158 for three. They're going to get there at a sprint here now. Rajasthan Kings as the partnership is 135. Wilco, Wilco, I'm worried for the man. He's on 92 and they need seven to win. Oh, oh no, surely not. Angelo Pereira, 92 from 41. That's a strike rate of 224. seven needed there's four of them four of them he has struck the ball ferociously tonight he's on 96 now three to win he hits it one more boundary they win the match and he scores his century Look at this. He knows he's on the brink of an historic landmark in this tournament. How apt it would be for Angelo Pereira, a Sri Lankan here in Palakele. He would be king of the mountains if he did this. Okay, 96, three to win. One blow will do it. Has he got it through? He's got it through. Angelo Pereira rattles off three boundaries he gets to his century he's a hundred not out and rajasthan kings have pulled off a heist here in palakele they celebrate angelo pereira is king in palakele what a performance that is the headlines will go to pereira trago has played his part but the pressure that they were under 
after their four man Robin Utapa failed tonight. Many would have thought the Kings were going to get done in today by the Devils. But an Angelo Pereira masterclass has seen them win with more than an over to spare. Well, that is uh, some batting performance by Angelo Pereira. And that really is absolutely top draw. We have seen some amazing innings in this tournament, like Mahiru Teramana, Robin Utapa, Chadwick Walton. We've seen so many good innings, but this tops the lot. He found his angles. He got the geometry right. He knew where he, the runs would come. And the way he crafted, engineered that 100, 100 from 43 balls, 16 fours, two sixes, striking at 232. That was some innings. That's the best of them. They've still got it, you know. I know it's a legends cricket trophy, but they've still got it. And credit as well to Peter Trago, the uh, Englishman. Those two put on a partnership of 143 from 69. And they were in trouble. They were 23 for three. 23 for three. And when you lose three wickets in the power play, there's a high percentage, something like 76% sides lose matches. T20 matches, it has to be said. This is a 90 ball tournament. Look at that. Utapa 12, Saxena Nort, Mazakaza 8, and then Angelo Pereira 100 not out from 43. Peter Trago 42 not out from 27. The partnership 143. They took this game by the scruff of the neck and they took it away from Delhi Devils. There's that partnership 143 from 69 balls. Tough night for the bowlers, it really was, but you can excuse them because they ran into Angelo Pereira who was in scintillating form. Everyone going the distance here in this run chase. Yeah, they ran into a runaway train. He was uh, the Angelo Express tonight. There was no stopping him. It, the, the, the clarity of, of thought of the way he constructed that innings. There were some quite extraordinary shots played. Stroke play was of the highest order. And Peter Trago as well. Now the summary of this match, 13 Delhi Devils who won the toss, Suresh Reiner, 164 for six. The skipper, 79. Callum Ferguson, 29. Amprit Goni, three for 27. Rajasthan Kings getting there in 82 balls with the score, 166 for three. Angelo Pereira, 100 not out. Peter Trago, 42 not out. Rajasthan Kings winning by seven wickets. We'll take a break and we'll, we'll uh, come back to see who the player of the match might be. I wonder who that might be.
Great. Welcome back to uh, Palakeli, where the lights have been uh, illuminating at a very high rate of knots tonight because the Rajasthan Kings have lit up the stadium. Angelo Pereira, 100 not out. Peter Trego, 142 not out. A partnership of 143 that has seen them get home against Delhi Devils, who needed this win, but Rajasthan Kings winning by seven wickets. All right, let's go down to Roshan Abasinghe for the uh, presentation. Ladies and gentlemen, we have just seen an outstanding knock by Angelo Pereira. What a hundred, the first ever hundred in the Legends uh, Cricket uh, Trophy Tournament. And we say congratulations to him and also congratulations to the Rajasthan Kings winning by seven wickets. Uh, let me start off by welcoming you to the post-match presentation of the Magic Queen Sports Legends Cricket Trophy Season 2. And let me thank our partners first, Arc Developers, Star Sports, Valley's Entertainment and Yeti. Let us now move towards the awards. Let's start off with the Magic Win Sports Player of the Match Award of US 500. And an N7 real estate goodie box will be presented by Mr. Kantan Thakur, the partner of Arc Developers. And it goes to Angelo Pereira for his absolutely scintillating, magnificent 100. It was one of the best innings we have seen and the first ever 100 in this tournament. And let's move on to the Electric Wicket Award of US 500, which will be given away by Miss Akshara Yada, reps of Rajasthan Kings, and it will be presented to Manpreet Goni. We got uh, Mr. Ayush Sharma, the team owner of Delhi Devils, who will give away the Most Sixers Award of US 500. It goes to Suresh Raina. Well, I think he battered outstandingly well, Suresh. Bad luck today. It was a magnificent knock by the captain, but it was not to be. The team owner of uh, Delhi Devils, and that concludes our post-match presentation. Yes, we've seen one of the great innings of Legends uh, Cricket Trophy. But it means that Rajasthan Kings, with their superior net run rate, have leaped over New York superstar strikers. Rajasthan Kings now with six points, the Strikers with six, Dubai Giants with six, and still the Devils and the Colombo Lions, they are looking for their first points of the campaign. It's the top two teams who will contest the final after the league stage. It's another doubleheader tomorrow. It's match 14 at four o'clock, Punjab Royale against the Colombo Lions, followed at 7 o'clock by the Candy Sump Army against the Dubai Giants. Comes you tomorrow from the Palakeli International Cricket Stadium. We look forward to your company then, but tonight from the glittering, lighting hundred of Angelo Pereira, it's good night. <laughs>